Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once more to another thrilling chapter of Viviette. We are again picking up where we left off. Um, I will be running around this place chased by my psychotic sister. Oh, so reminiscent of my childhood. Um, I th and at the moment what we've got to do is we've got to go and... Got to go chuck water on that. So that was a that was an invite here. Garden party, Nouvelle, blah de blah de blah. Anyway, there's a fire. There's some water. Oh, we can go through it. Ooh, it leads somewhere. No. Can't read the inscription, it's impossible. The floor isn't stable, it's creaking and collapse at any moment. Yes, it could. Ooh. Wilted pot plants, dozens of boxes containing bottles of various liquids. Ooh, let's get drunk. Why is the orchestra picking up now? Why? What have you done? What did that say? Uh, whoever lived here certainly must love wine. There are so many big barrels, nothing unusual about them. Yet. A baby like doll sitting in a chair. Quote unquote. Collection of nautical themed gold plated figures. They're beautiful, seemingly untouched by the decay around them. Hmm. Seems to be a few missing. I wonder where they went. Okay, so it's a collect questy thing. More liquor bottles. Nothing useful. Ooh, creaky dog. Oh, creaky, creaky, creaky. My dear Alice. My dear Alice, sorry. <laughs> Adelard is worrying me. I don't care uh, about the parties, but after my latest loss, he isn't even willing to go to town. He doesn't allow me to use the boat either. Seems absent, caught in his own thoughts about who knows what. The fact is, when he stares at me, an uneasiness rushes through me, and I feel frightened. Frightened even that he will discover this letter. I'm afraid Alice and deeply troubled by Adelard's mental state. When and where could we meet? It must be secret. Please give your letter to Fabio, son, and implore him to hide it under the third plank of the pier. Okay, third plank of the pier. Your friend, V. Viviette, maybe. A religious sculpture, face expressionless. His eyes are dead. Please don't flicker when I'm looking at... Oh, this is downstairs from there. The plate armour is for a previous decade. Yep. I saw that. A large sinkhole on the floor. It looks dangerous. That looks dangerous, but the weird zombie-like woman running past the grate above you wasn't a problem, was it? Mate, you need to sort out your priorities. Worthless junk. Another save game. Wonder if this machine before is it some kind of boiler. Ah, that's why the Shiva statue upstairs doesn't light up. A crowbar. Oh, there was that place outside with um, the boards on the door. So I need to go there as well. Also, crowbar, useful for whacking crazy sister around the face if she runs at me with a knife again. But I'm going to guess, just like in Home Sweet Home, we're not going to think about doing that, are we? <sighs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, insert this clip of Home Sweet Home right here. Okay. I might not be able to because I don't think I've even got it left. Mims and heads, spare parts for dolls. Oh, good. They're all going to get up and move, aren't they? There's nothing inside. Mm hmm. A wooden mannequin made of fine wood. Fine wood. Fine wood. I don't think I need the fine wood just yet. Yeah, there's probably something behind there which I can't get to right now. Okay. Well, that's 
that. What else we got? Great big box and nothing. Five digit combination. I obviously don't have the code, otherwise you'd probably automatically do it, and I'm going to guess this is going to give way right about now. So, let's go outside. Oh god, there she is. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height, up in the atmosphere, somewhere that's far from here. My crazy girls aren't trying to stab me in the eyeballs with a spoon. Let's all go fly a kite. Anyway, so, third plank of the pier. We're steaming through progress now. That first puzzle with the height thing was confusing, I'll be honest with you. But, um, No? I could swear there was going to be something around here. Hmm. Maybe they mean a different... Oh, the pillar. Wasn't it? It was the pillar. 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 No, nothing. Alright, never mind. It's a good thing you see I checked the grounds in one of the previous episodes. Chapters. I keep doing that. They're episodes, they're chapters, who cares? I call them chapters, other people would call them episodes, it's all the same. It's all the same to me! Uh, nope. There it is. Got wooden planks. I'm just carrying them around in my infinite back pocket, am I? Seems this machine is called with a huge radial saw. That huge radial saw over there, there's an opening on the front side. A huge wooden log, a medium sized wooden log. Luke's? Dear Mr. Novell, I'm writing to you personally to tell you that I'm concerned about your medical condition. After what I observed during your latest visit, I am troubled for your health. For the sake of discretion, I have avoided saying any type of comment in front of your wife, but please, I beg you, come visit me privately as early as possible. Let us talk about what is worrying you, and with God's steady hand, we shall persevere. Meanwhile, I advise you to rest, and above all, avoid alcoholic beverages. Mm, yeah, yeah, if you're, if you're seeing ghosts and ghoulies and things that can bump in the night, tone down the booze. I await your visit, Dr. Gaston Villier. Valier. Is that it? That's that's all it's that that can't be it. Anything? Oh I can put the lamp in no I can't put the lamp in there. I can't see in the dark. I can't believe I just did that. Nope. Obviously I am missing something. Hmm. That's a new one. I got those planks. Can the planks go in the boiler? Can I use the planks for something? What can I use the planks for? Can 
Can I use the planks to get the thing out of the log over here? Because there was a thing in a log over here, wasn't there? Nope, 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 nope. That's the exit from the kitchen. Excuse me. Okay, I take back what I said about steaming progress. We're now stalling again. Planks. Where would I have needed planks? No. This is where I picked up the crowbar. It's unlikely I'd have to bring the planks back here. Using the crowbar on that room in the paintings, maybe? I don't know. Hang on, I have a crowbar and there was a trunk that wouldn't open. Can I use the crowbar on the trunk that won't open? That would be sensible, though. And a lot of times, these games, they aren't that sensible. Like, you know, these games are not sensible. It's, it's like Silent Hill dilemmas. You've got a, an iron pipe and a door. And rather than, you know, you can use the iron pipe to bash down the door, which you'd be able to do in real life, you have to, like, melt some wax and a horseshoe and a, a key mould and make a mould of the key to make a door handle. And It's just like, I'm, I'm holding a fire axe. Can I not just chop the door down? It would be much faster. And it's like, no! You must not go forward until you have met our convoluted logic. Let's just try the crowbar on this bad boy. Oh. Nope, completely wasted my time. What would I need the planks for? What on earth would I need the planks for? Can I use the crowbar on this? No. Can I get more bucket of water? Can I get another bucket of water? That'd be useful. I think. At some point. Yeah, I got another bucket of water. I'm just kind of carrying around a bucket of water. If my sister comes near me again, I'll chuck it on her. People in whatever century France this is are notoriously weak to water, especially if it's warm and soapy. Wait, no, that's pre-revolution, isn't it? There we go. There's 
nine minutes ago, my last save. Most people have completed this game by now. Gone out a cup of tea. It's locked, and we need to find the Grecho key. So if I... No, you can't put the planks across that hole. Well, it was worth a shot. This can't be opened. Blanks on it? Will that make it stable? No. Of course it won't. Five digit combination, which I don't have. Anchor, shell, clock. Dear Alice, oh yeah, I need to find out where that is. Under the third plank of the pier. But I looked there and there was diddly doodah. Right, this is Mannequin Central. I can't open that. long. Um, if I go this way and come back, you're still gonna be- yeah, you are. Oh, hang on. Hang on, I'm being- I'm uh, being a big stilly. Let's just go save. Do I put the planks across that sinkhole? Look, you're still there. Look. Am I going to do this with- there we go. Okay, so does she want to stab me or doesn't she? How did she get down here? It's locked. The word Greco appears engraved. Oh, I'm going here. Okay, creepy hanging mannequins. That's great. That's marvellous. Tiny keyhole. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all I have time for on this chapter of Viviette. I will be playing one more chapter of this today, and then I will be putting stuff up to record. Um, especially considering the first one went on a little longer than I was hoping, because I'm an idiot. Um, never mind, we'll get there. Um, in the meantime, Thank you all so much for watching. I have once again been your host. It has been fantastic to have you here. And I wait for you in the thr next thrilling chapter of Viviette. And until then, keep those top hats tall. Bye-bye. <laughs>